Welcome to Will's Guide to American English Swearing, where you will learn how to recognize and use all of the swear words commonly heard throughout the United States. Today we're going to look at the word ass. This is part three of my three-part series covering the various grammatical forms of the word ass. Be sure to check out parts one and two to learn about the adjective and verb forms of ass. Quick disclaimer. Part three, verbal phrases with ass. While ass is not a verb, there are several idiomatic verbal expressions that use the word. Let's take a look. I'm guessing you know this one. To kick ass means to do something well or achieve great success in a competitive scenario, like in sports, business, performance, or really anything else you could do well at. Similarly, to say something kicks ass is simply to say it is very cool. The two meanings are virtually identical, but employed in slightly different contexts. Some examples include, You kicked ass in the game last night. I kicked ass on my quarterly evaluation at work. This game kicks ass. He kicks ass at basketball. To kick someone's ass can mean to simply defeat an opponent handedly in a competition, like in the previous examples. But it can also mean to literally beat someone up, that is, get in a fight with them, win the fight handedly, and leave them hurting. Some examples. I kicked Nathan's ass in ping pong last week. You always kick everyone's ass at Trivial Pursuit. Don't make me kick your ass, kid. Did you see his eye? You kicked his ass real bad. You should be noticing a theme by now. The very similar phrase, to kick some ass, is simply a more general expression that means about the same thing as to kick ass or to kick someone's ass. So, to kick some ass can either be used interchangeably with to kick ass, as in to do very well at something, or it can mean to get in a fight and leave someone in pain. As it happens, this expression seems to be used less in the past tense and more in the present and future as an expression of intent. For example, let's go kick some ass. Are we going to kick some ass tonight or what? You guys ready to kick some ass? If he doesn't text me an apology in five minutes, I might have to go back to the phone party and kick some ass. The expression to suck ass can be viewed as the opposite of to kick ass. To suck means to be bad, shitty, or low quality. Adding ass to the expression simply accentuates it. So, if you say a person sucks ass, that basically means you hate them. And if you say a person sucks ass at a game, that means you think they are bad at that game. And if you say a thing sucks ass, it of course means you think it's shitty, either in terms of quality or performance. I should add as a side note that the expression to blow is just a variation of to suck and thus follows the same rules. So to say something blows ass will carry the same meaning. Some examples, my professor sucks ass. The US sucks ass at cricket. This movie absolutely blows ass. Let's go see Grown Ups too. To kiss ass is an idiomatic expression that means to brown nose or flatter. It is most often used in the context of employer-employee or teacher-student relationships, and it carries a very negative connotation. So, if you say a student is always kissing the teacher's ass, that means they are trying to win the teacher's favor by showering them with compliments. Some examples include, She only got promoted because she kisses so much ass. Kissing ass will not do you any good in this class. You can't make it in this industry without kissing a little ass. He's just going to kiss her ass until she gives him what he wants. The expression, kiss my ass, is basically another way to say fuck you or fuck off. Variations include eat my ass, suck my ass, and blow my ass, bitch. To haul ass means to suddenly speed up or move very quickly, usually with a sense of great urgency, and often in some kind of vehicle. To bust ass can mean the same thing, 
but it can also specifically mean to suddenly work extremely hard. Here are some examples. We had to haul ass to get home in time. You're going to have to haul some serious ass if you want to get there by sundown. I had to bust ass to finish that paper on time. We're going to have to bust some ass to get this house done before winter. To work, run, or play your ass off. You might hear this construction quite often with the above three verbs, but there are plenty of others that work as well. To work your ass off just means to work really hard. To run your ass off means to run really hard. And to play your ass off means to play really hard. You get the idea. Some examples. I was working my ass off all week. I had to run my ass off to get away from that dog. We partied our asses off all summer. And finally, to half-ass something means to put minimal effort into it or simply not try your hardest. The end result is typically pretty lousy, but some people still manage to impress others with their half-assed work. Some examples. Even if I half-ass the paper, I'll still get an A. He half-assed his way through college. You can't half-ass med school. Well, that just about does it for the verbal forms. Congrats! You just completed my three-part series on the word ass. You should now know all of the major ways ass is used in the United States. Be sure to watch parts one and two of the ass series, which cover the noun and adjective forms, in case you missed them. You can find the links at the bottom of the description section of my page, where I have also included the script for this lecture. Visit my website for more English practice and tips, and feel free to post your questions in the comment section of this page. Thanks for watching, you cool ass students!